Um, I think some of you actually saw some of our locations. Yes. yes. Uh, was it Thursday or Friday? Thursday. 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 So, yeah, you know, and it's funny because we spend so much time at, at a few of those places, and they're, they get used over and over. And, and our amazing production design team is um, headed up by uh, Jerry Lyon, which is right. Jerry. Jerry. Back on a little show called Dark Angel. Yeah. And uh, we were very, very fortunate to grab him and, and, and get him on this one. So, um, but like I said, we, we shoot a lot of uh, locations and we use them for a lot of different shows. So they have to look different. And uh, you know, no two locations are the same, especially on this show because we're traveling the road show, or at least supposed to be. Uh, and that's where he comes in, his team come in, and they make what we've shot, you know, two episodes ago look completely different, and it, uh, it works. So, um, it's, uh, it's, it's difficult to make a show that looks like it's supposed to be a different city each week look like that when you're shooting in the same city. But uh, I'm just so proud, of, I'm so proud to be part of a team that can actually pull that off. So, um, location-wise, we're going to keep using what we know. Although we did just introduce a new set, which was the, uh, I don't know if you guys saw, there was a, a, a little tiny movie um, with the, there was a horrible, horrible actor that was one of the lead, um, The Watchmen. And uh, like, like many big budget movies do, they, they come into a town, build up these giant sets, and then leave them. And so we were able to go in and, and redress that and, and use it for, uh, for episode four. And uh, so that was nice, and now we might have our, our hands on that. We can use that one some more, Jim? All the time. All the time, so, yeah. So there's a little piece of trivia. That, that, the, in episode four, I guess, of this season, it'll be the future, and that was actually the old Watchmen set. So eat your heart out, Jeffrey. What do you got, Adam? Okay, here comes one from Astrid from Germany, row E. Astrid, can you stand up for us if you're out there? Hi, Astrid. She is. And uh, she's talking about the incredible uh, angels arc, the uh, mythology arc. Um, did they kind of give you any hints early on uh, what they plan to do with the angels arc? Or were you pretty well much in the dark as much as us fans? And do you like the direction that it's going, especially as we move into the new season? What? <laughs> Uh, no, I, I've said this before, I, I, they don't tell us anything. Kripke keeps everything very, very close to the best. Um, and, you know, while we're shooting one and, and focusing on one script, he's already, what, like three or four ahead? Like five ahead, five ahead. So, it's funny because sometimes we'll have a question about what we're shooting on that day, and I'll call him up and be like, hey, Kripke, uh, listen, I got, a, I, got, I got a question about C-29. And he's like, what, what episode? I'm like, the one we're filming. He's like, what, what, what episode is that? <laughs> episode four. Okay, hang on, I gotta get my script. Because he's so far beyond that. So he's way ahead of what we know, and uh, and he doesn't tell us anything. He keeps everything pretty close to the best. So we do start, we're starting to get outlines this year and, and, and read them, but not uh, here. <laughs> I just take them as they come. Um, and what was the second part of that question? Uh, do you like the direction you're going in uh, with the arc? In the new season, I do. Uh, I, I, I do like the mythology. I do like the you know the angels and the demons and kind of the, the how it's really exploded and, and it's, it's bigger than just Sam and Dean now. But I also do like going back to the basics and shooting a good old classic supernatural show. Yes. Which we're actually shooting one right now. Uh, you know, you, you get the brothers back together, you get them on the road, and they go fight the they go fight the evil, and then they save the family, and that's. You know, that's kind of the formula that we were uh, um, born with, and that's that's kind of what we like to resort to. And, and so we're still we're still feathering those episodes in. Don't think that Supernatural is just a complete angel and demon show. We're still giving you some of the old stuff as well. We got one here from Melanie from Little Rock and Row O. Melanie, stand up. I was going to get through you. Uh, and she's just wondering, uh, have you ever been uh, injured during filming? And if so, what was the worst thing that ever happened to you? Um, 
yes and let me take my pick. Um, Jared actually got it the worst. He broke his hand, which I, I oh, you know, um, what was that, season two, two. nine? <laughs> uh, I, I do remember in um, uh, All Hell Breaks Loose part two, which was the season finale, uh, when uh, Yellow Eye Demon throws Dean into one of the tombstones. Uh, and then comes up and it's just before Dean shoots him with the coal. Uh, I fell into a tombstone that they had, they had softened on one side, but not on the other. It was actually, it was actually stone. And I fell so, I, I jumped back, hit it so hard because I had a back pad on, but my elbow didn't have any pads. And I hit the corner of the stone right in the funny bone. There's nothing funny about it. And it, it, it was uh, it was Fred Lane's coverage, so it was over my shoulder, and I hit it so hard that my arm was like shaking, and my hand felt like it was on fire, and I started like tearing up, and like my eyes were welling, it hurt so bad, and I had to continue to do the scene with Fred, and he, I mean, we ended up doing it, but to this day, that's more sensitive than the one on my left arm, so. And then I've also got a nice scar on my uh, left arm. That's, that's uh, courtesy of Kim Manners. Uh, love you, Kim Bishop. Uh, I never told that story. That was the beginning. That was the season premiere last year when he decided to use real glass <laughs> instead of candy glass. And, uh, yeah, my, my stunt double, Todd Scott, uh, looked a whole lot worse than I did, but we both ended up with, like, streaming bloody arms after this. And I was like, hey, Kim, you happy now, pal? <laughs> but you can't really, you know, you can't really call Kim out, because then he'd just whip out a pocket knife and be like, really? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that guy. What about your finger? Okay, we got one from Linda Bingo from Illinois in row C. Linda, can you stand up? Hi. Hey, she's asking, what was it like for you personally and professionally to work with your dad in Devourer? Um, that was really cool. It was very, very kind of, I, mean, I think we only had like two scenes, so it was just like one day of shooting, but, uh, um, you know, anything I get to do with, with Pops is pretty cool. Uh, and he, he had a great time, and, and you know, it'll, it, it'll be something fun to look back on many years from now and show my kids and be like, hey, look, look how young your grandfather looked. <laughs> it was very cool. I hope to do it again soon. Yeah. Here's one from Sonia in Wenatchee, Washington, row V. Sonia, stand up, please. Hey, hey! Back. And she's asking, in your opinion, what is Jared's best personality characteristic? <laughs> I don't know that he has one. <laughs> Should ask these guys over here. I'm gonna stand up. I don't like this chair. Uh, Jared's best personality. What was it? Character. Yes. Trait. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna dig deep for this one. Uh, <laughs> you know what? He, he's 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 got some charm. I'll give him that. <laughs> he's, he's got some good old southern charm. And it doesn't go very far with me, but <laughs> but I see it goes far with you guys. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, yeah, no, I don't think his his flatulence is necessarily a, a good trait. Michael, but thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> Yeah. Well, he'll be up here in a little bit. Uh, I'd rather rasp into his face. So. <laughs> what else you got? So, uh, asking about your stint on Smallville and some comments on that, and also about working with Emmy winner Jane Seymour. Uh, we all thought you had great screen chemistry together. What was it like for you? Uh, small, it was fun. You know, they, I was actually supposed to do two seasons. I only did one because uh, there was this, this other show that came along. And <laughs> 
And uh, and Jane, I tell you what, you know, she's she she played my mother, and she's an older woman, but damn, is she sexy? Yeah. <laughs> it was uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> Michael Rosenbaum had some choice words to say about her. That I will, uh, if any of you know him or have ever talked to him, I'm sure you can imagine. Uh, but needs to say, no, she was a she was a pleasure to work with. No. Holy flashing cameras, really? <laughs> I mean, honestly, you're gonna run out of us. memory space. 16 gig. 16 gig. 16 gig. She just fired off 19 photos. Jerry, what do you have? What kind of card do you have in yours? You got a 12. That's, that's, and this is a guy who takes photos all day long. Cut it out! Oh, all right, Adam. We got one coming in here from uh, Tamar Abrams from. South Africa, row H. Wow, welcome. And you got through like what, 20 hours to get here? <sighs> she wins. Thanks for coming. Uh, what was the question? Uh, as well, she's commenting like we all feel that you've had some amazing guest stars on the show, people like Barry Boswick and Robert Wisdom, and she'd like to know if there's anybody uh, that hasn't made a guest appearance that you might like to see on the show. <laughs> sort of dream guest appearances that haven't happened yet that you might like to see. Yeah. Uh, Jared. <laughs> Jared. What was that? Jared. Jared. <laughs> yeah, Jared would be nice. <laughs> It'd be nice to have him on the show once in a while. Uh, and please, by all means, in. <laughs> say you're sick of Dean. Yes. Say you want more Sam episodes, please. <laughs> I'm begging you. It'll be our little secret. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I don't know. There's, there's a lot of really, really talented people. Um, and. Uh, James <laughs> There's some talented people. Um, actually, Josh Jackson's up here shooting uh, oh, the new show. Yeah. That's all I have. But you know, I, I, I'd like to work, um, uh, I'd love to work with this actress, uh, Neil Harris, again. Uh, it's just some it's chemistry. It's, it's, it's tangible chemistry. Uh, and it's, it's always nice to have that, you know, you really, really sell a part. If you've got that kind of chemistry with somebody. Right, honey? She's so red right now. <laughs> we got one coming in from Anne from Orange County, California, row H. I am. She's OC, asking, huh? <laughs> that's, that's it. That's all I have there. She's asking about your golf game. She says, uh, how's it going, and uh, what are your uh, best and worst sports? Uh, well, my best is not golf, but I'm working on it. Um, I haven't broke 80 yet, but I'm knocking on the door. Uh, for any of you who know what that means. Um, you know. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, oh. And let's let's talk about the last time you and I went play. How big was my drive? Yeah. Three, 314 yards? Is that it? Yeah. And where were you? About 50 yards behind me, weren't you? That's right. Um, 
<laughs> you know, I, I, I don't get to play a whole lot of sports anymore. I used to play a ton, but uh, um, they got me working a lot, so I don't, I don't get to play as much. Uh, I, wish I, could, I wish I could get out. I mean, you know, we, we chuck the football in the parking lot, do stuff like that, stay active, but uh, yeah, there's not a, lot of, not a lot of sports going on anymore in this whole body. So, uh, yeah, right, right, right about that, too. Say so the guys need more time off, period. <laughs> They need to, you know, stay, stay athletic and joke, right? Anything you say, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Our new producer, he's, he's, he's doing well. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one from Mary Lou Gosselin, Quebec City, row E. Mary Lou. Hi, welcome. Uh, what's your favorite Dean death? <laughs> How many times have I died? <laughs> yeah, Adrian, how many times have I died? You have any idea? Too many! <laughs> there was a grandma day episode, so I died like 90 times. Uh, what else have I died? <laughs> how, many, so how many television shows you do that? How many times have I died? Uh, Avery, yeah. Yeah, the piano was good. The, sh the electric shaver was good. The tacos. What? The tacos. The tacos? Did I even eat the taco? Yeah. Tastes funny. Oh, Tastes I didn't funny, eat the taco. Of course, that's a stupid question. <laughs> Dean eating what? I mean, yeah, this, uh, just last night, or not, uh, Friday night, I was shoving ham sandwiches in my mouth all night long, which was so nice after five or six takes. I didn't eat lunch, so. Um, you know, I gotta say the favorite death, and I didn't, I was, I was actually considered dead, was the car crash after season four. That was, that was a pretty awesome crash. And I don't know if you guys know any of the story with that, but the car was not, it was not supposed to end up like that. The, the, the truck was supposed to hit the car, the, there were cannon, piston cannons underneath the car that was supposed to fire, flip the car up into a tumble, and the car would go rolling and the, and the truck would just, just keep going. And uh, it, it, the truck hit it, jumped up, the car, the car fired the pistons, but it lodged itself underneath the bumper. And so it just took both vehicles off into the dirt. And, uh, and we just did it the one time. And Kim was directing, and he just he just looks over at uh, at Lou, our stunt coordinator, because he had a stunt driver driving the truck, and he just looks over at Lou and he's like, "Well, I hope your stunt guy can act." Because <laughs> that's how we were opening up the next season, right there. And uh, they they ended up casting an actor because you never saw the guy. But, um, yeah, it was it was not supposed to be like that. The truck was just supposed to keep on going down the road. So when it opened up in the, in the season two, uh, and the guy, the, the, the cat driver, or the uh, the guy gets out of the cab, comes to the comes to the guy, and then Sam shoots him with the gun. That was all like, oh, we got to rethink the opening of this show. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a pretty cool death to be in the car. I was really in the car too. <laughs> Jake, right, yes. Uh, yeah, 
Absolutely. It would have been nice to have another brother to share the load of the, the show with. More time off. Make them twins for crying out loud. Let's get some more Winchesters on this show. Yeah, yeah. Add a sister. Uh, add a sister. Yeah. No, no, don't. No. Women don't last long on our no, show. No, they don't. And it's y'all's fault. Guilty. It is. Thanks, guys. 